The following contest, it's a ladder match. And it is for the United States Championship. Just moments from now, we will get this singles action underway. Can't beat a great singles match. There's something about when the title is hanging high above the ring that brings out the absolute best in these competitors. wrestling match. Man, seems like these ladder matches are always unpredictable. Nothing like a ladder match in the WWE. They can climb the ladder or use it as a weapon. Either way, we're in for a spectacle. But hey, there hasn't been a time that I've sat in this chair and not been excited. So, I guess I'm a little biased. Let's take a moment to talk about the challenger. Well, it's never easy to take down a champ. What kind of attack should he mount? This is when all those hours in the gym finally pay off. A chance to become champion. A chance to forever have your name in the record books. Look, it's going to take a lot to take down the champion. But if I were a betting man, I would have my money on the challenger tonight. And that punch lands hard. Undertaker looking mortal here. He needs to create some space and find a way to get back on the offensive. If it's me, I'm focusing my attention on winning the match inside the ring. All this time on the outside doesn't appear to be doing him any good. Oh, it's been a great match up to this point, and this could really go either way. Back in the ring now. First time for everything, I guess. You know, after all my years of being at the broadcast position, I have to say, I think Undertaker is arguably the best striker in WWE. When you stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with this man, it never ends good. The power from Death Valley is just too much for WWE superstars to handle. Yeah, but the Undertaker doesn't just look to stand and strike with his opponent. He looks to devastate and punish his opponent. Inside the ring now. Rolling out of harm's way. Smart strategy there. Honey missed that one. God, that's got to hurt. Yeah, you're not doing any damage with swings like that, but keep doing it. The freeze may give him a cold. You know, thinking about the striking skills we were talking about, the Undertaker is such a veteran in the ring, it's just hard to get momentum in a match against a man of his caliber. I mean, he's fought so many timeless battles in his illustrious career. He literally can foresee what well, what methods his opponent will take before they can even decide their strategy in any given match. Still got work to do. Look out. He's got it in his hands now. Oh, you got to be careful up there. Look out.
He wants no part of the outside. And I don't blame him. Nothing good ever happens outside the ring. One thing I wanted to mention about The Undertaker, something that is always often overlooked, is that he can withstand superhuman amounts of punishment. You cannot just come into the match, put a beating on him, and expect to get the win. You have to find some other way to go at this guy because pain alone is not enough to take out the dead man. And there's the reversal. Few superstars are as dominant as this guy. I think he's through playing around. Look at this. This could be it. And we see it one more time. Careful what you wish for. It can get real ugly outside the ring. And these guys are real ugly. Interesting move here, taking the match to the outside. Interesting and dangerous. Here we go. He's going to have to hurry and pull on that title. Making it to the top of the ladder may be the easy part. Once you start working on open the history books, we've got a new champion. Here's your winner and the new United States Champion, The Soldier, John! We have a new champion. Unbelievable. But let's not forget, we have a new champion! You're going to be hard-pressed to find action like what we just saw anywhere else, but right here on Raw.